Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're going to be jumping down into the world of Bitcoin, taking a look at what's been going on most recently, what we think is likely to happen next and all that wonderful stuff. As I get into the video, if you find it useful and informative, smash that like button. I really do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all the notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. And if you haven't yet joined us in Discord, what are you waiting for? Check it out. Link is in the description down below. It's a fantastic fantastic community talking crypto 24 7 it's completely free and i don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there so why not go ahead and check it out let's uh waste no more time let's keep this one nice and brief and on point here we have bitcoin paired up with usdt we're on the bitget spot exchange one hour time frame and as you can kind of see following on from our last hourly uh video our short uh, sorry our long position here would have played out quite nicely hitting our target range so the idea here was to enter down at uh, this low range uh, you can see that we had our stop loss just below the swing low at 29,956 uh, entry would have been approximately 30,120 with profit happening uh, up here at the uh, 30,717 a risk reward ratio of 7.87 and you can see that would have played out very very nicely and would have uh, won now I didn't actually have the chance to enter on this one um, but it's good to see that this one has played out if it were to actually have uh, been you know, entered. Uh, so I'll remove that and we can see that we did push up a little bit higher. Right, We grabbed the first fair value gap, this one being down here at the 30,660 to 30,707. Uh, our actual target range was this one here between 30,712 and 30,880. And then we had that second fair value gap, just a little bit higher, sitting at 30,882 to 31,000. And 63. That technically has not yet been filled. It pushed almost all the way through um, and got rejected, but it didn't quite fill it. So I think that one's fair play to say we can leave it in and we'll kind of think about moving back up there. Okay, let's go ahead and review our structure then. Is this kind of aligned to where we think things are going or have we got further to go to the upside? And well, for the most part here, it looks like it kind of hit the expectations. Uh, let's go ahead and just uh, do the sense checks again. Uh, make sure that we are fully aligned to kind of everything that is going on. Okay, so we can see here that we pushed up higher than the 1.382. Uh, this essentially makes it look more like a W, X, Y, X, and Z territory. Um, and in that case, we want to be thinking about, hmm, let's see. Yes, yeah, so we're already up there. It's possible that actually it doesn't really fall in line with the WXYXZ anymore. So interestingly, I think we're going to have to kind of fall out of that structure a little bit and remove this one. Take a look at this from a slightly different standpoint, which will be a string of corrections. OK, so because it doesn't quite meet those requirements, I think essentially here we're just kind of stringing them along. Um, from here, we can see this bigger move to the upside. And uh, for the most part, that looks like it is a 335, um, potentially five wave structure, but I don't like this beginning area over here. Um, so, you know, you kind of want to have a look at it like this. So we kind of want to go, hey, look at that fantastic five wave structure, but I don't think that's really the case uh, here. Um, but let's go ahead and just assume that we're running three waves anyway, uh, because that I think is the most probable scenario, meaning that we should be thinking about this push up a little bit higher, maybe towards 31,200. Bear in mind that we need to stay below 31,510. Uh, so our double top would be our minimum expectations here, a retest of that higher 31,040. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we kind of see a typical structure uh, falling more within this range here between 31,288 and 31,552. Uh, so that's going to be the interesting uh, thing to keep an eye out on, I think, because uh, this particular range, as you can kind of see, let me just lower this back down into here at 52, um, is going to take us a little bit higher right so we want to be a little bit nervous and a little bit cautious with that but for the most part that would allow us to take a look at this thing as a three wave correction sorry for all the moving let me just get this back in the view here um 
A, B, and C, okay? That basically takes out that fair value gap um, and would get us a line. That means long still on XRP here, at least a little further um, before we start to see those retracements to the downside. Okay, cool. So that's your hourly kind of structures. That's kind of how that one's looking. It's kind of where we think things are heading. Uh, there's no additional fair value gaps outside of the one that's immediately being created right here. Um, you actually go snap that right onto here. Uh, so you can see this one hasn't been filled out. But again, uh, I think that's likely to occur. We have to kind of consider that maybe we're not done with the move to the downside yet as well. Uh, consider that maybe there's a three wave pattern here to retest those lows. Got to consider that as an option as well. Um, but for the most part, looking pretty good. One of the things I would say though, so if we draw our trend line across here, we can see uh, are we in a higher lows and we are in higher highs. Uh, again, something to kind of be considering a more bearish uh, tell uh, right inside here. Again, if we are continuing to move in this particular direction, we have to consider that this is an inevitable breakdown at some point. We have the overlapping structures. We're up in the higher highs and the higher lows. This is a tell that we are likely to see break to the downside at some point in the near future. Um, but until we kind of finish off structures to the upside, I think we're looking reasonably good. Now, taking a look at the daily time frame, you can see here we're still targeting out $34,000, $35,000. That's looking pretty good. We've got a momentum uh, backing the move on the daily chart here. So I'm not too concerned. I still think that $34,000, $35,000 is um, going to be the most probable move on the daily time frame, weekly time frame. Um, that is going to basically grab that CME gap before we move on down uh, into maybe the $20,000 levels. Okay, so I do think a big move to the downside is coming. Uh, whether we kind of want to acknowledge the idea of a $5,500 BTC, whether we want to kind of look at the sub $10,000 CME gap at $9,900, right? It's entirely up to you how you want to look at it. Um, but for the most part, I think we have a good probability of holding the existing low, but something can happen that can take it down low. I can't rule it out just yet. I think the BlackRock ETF is pretty positive. That could have a pretty imp uh, impactful move on Bitcoin later down the line, but it hasn't been approved yet. We have no timelines on when it's going to be approved, and that could potentially be a hindrance to, to Bitcoin if it gets dragged out, if Gary Gensler wants to kind of play devil's advocate and kind of drag his heels with it. Uh, maybe that would be the, the reason that he gets out that, and of course, uh, the SEC versus Ripple. I think those two things could be the final two nails in in Gary Gensler's coffin, but we'll see how that kind of plays out. And um, for, for the most part, I think that the BlackRock ETF is very, very bullish on uh, uh, for Bitcoin, but also for the entire crypto industry. All boats rise with a rising tide, as they say. And I do think that um, you know we have to see a nice, healthy correction. So the timeline of events here is going to be quite interesting to see what happens. How long does it take for BlackRock's ETF to kind of get approved? Because I think it's inevitable that it will be approved. And if it gets rejected first time round, I think that would be Gary Gensler gone and someone else coming in to approve it um, but we'll see how that kind of plays out let me know your thoughts on that as well down in the comments below do you think the BlackRock ETF is going to get approved or do you think it's going to get rejected I think this is a big turning point personally for the crypto space in the US now timing that's going to be hard and therefore we can't rule out the ideas of some of these uh, lower low points coming in will the Fed pivot the Fed pivot will be a very bearish tell uh, we'll see a pretty significant crash in the market when the Fed pivot and, you know, I'm looking at 20K, but maybe that's not even going to hold. Maybe it's going to be a retest of the seventeen dollars to $15,000 range. It's going to be interesting to see how that goes. One of the things I do know, though, guys, and one of the things I'm very confident on here is that I think thirty-four dollars to $35,000 is kind of the upper limit and the upper range on BTC before a big move to the downside. But let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm going to leave this video there just nice and brief. If you found it useful and informative, smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you haven't yet joined us in Discord, what you're waiting for check it out link is in the description below until the next one though guys have a fantastic day we are not financial advisors none of what we have communicated verbally or in writing here should be considered as financial advice it is not do your own research before investing in any digital asset or affiliate offers and understand that investing in any crypto is risky if you do you need to be prepared to lose your entire investment this video is an information against the taxes only all our videos are strictly personal opinions please make sure you do your own research and never take our opinions for financial advice there are multiple strategies and not all strategies fit for people our videos are not financial advice